think you guys can do these. By now, hopefully you guys just need more practice. All right, so when you have a secant and a cosecant graph, what you guys need to do is worry about um, what the sine and the cosine graph are. And I'll, or yes, with the sine and cosine graph. So this is kind of going to be like what we previously did. If you guys can kind of just forget right now that it's a secant graph, and let's just pretend it's a cosine graph, right? Because you guys should remember that secant is the same thing as one over cosine, right? And cosine is one over secant. So what we're gonna do to help us graph our secant is let's just graph it as a cosine function and then I'll show you how to transform it. Just make sure you guys are using a pencil or using some very faint dotted lines when you're doing this because I'll show you, you know, what, how we're going to really go from our secant graph from our cosine graph. So let's just pretend it's cosine for right now and then we'll inform the secant in a second. So if this is a cosine graph, that means I need to find the amplitude which is the absolute value of A. So here we have an absolute value of negative two, which gives us two. We need to know what the period is, which is two pi over B. Ooh. Red might not be a color. So two pi over B, which here we have two pi over four, which is equal to pi over two, right? Remember I've spoken about the four important points for our one period. So we take pi over two and divide by four. When you divide by four, multiply by the reciprocal. So our four important points are pi over eight between each other. So let's go and get started graphing. Oh, and also notice, sorry, there is a reflection. All right, so we got a reflection. We got an amplitude of two. We have a period of pi over two, and we have your distance before our, between our four important points of one period is pi over eight. Now, this is a cosine graph. And remember, cosine graph, the parent graph always started up here, but now it senses reflection. Let's just start it down here. So that's at positive two, that's at negative two. All right, we have, let's go, here's our period here, and there's four important points. So I said the four important, that's not even close. Is that halfway? So we said our four important points are pi over eight between each other. So the first distance from zero to there is pi over eight. Well, pi over eight plus pi over eight is 2 pi over 8, 2 pi over 8, which we know is what? Pi over 4. And then 2 pi over 8 plus another pi over 8 will give you 3 pi over 8. And 3 pi over 8 again plus pi over 8 is 4 pi over 8, which, hey, is 1 half, right? Just what we wanted. Perfect. So therefore, I know at least I did my math right. All right, and we have our reflection, our period, our amplitude. We're all good, right? So let's just sketch in very lightly what our graph is going to look like. So I know it's going to cross here. That's going to be my maximum point. It's going to cross there, and then that's going to be another middle. Okay. Okay, so if I said graph the cosine, you guys know that's what it looked like, right? Right? Um, it might be help. It's going to be helpful though for us to, uh, when doing these graphs, that one this period of this is really not going to be helpful. We're going to have to extend this a little bit farther to be able to get two periods of our cosecant graph or of our secant graph. So let's do five pi over eight and then this would be six pi over eight. So that's another intercept. This would be what a negative pi over eight. Okay. Now let's uh, let's talk about something. At each one of these intercepts, ladies and gentlemen, what is my y value? What is the y value on these intercepts? Where it crosses, what is the y value? Zero, Zero right? Zero. So what you can say is 
if you guys think about it, remember I said secant is equal to one over cosine. Well, cosine at each one of these values is equal to what? Zero. So therefore, if, when I say, if I say this, you know, I say secant equal one over, let's say the cosine of pi over eight. The cosine of pi over eight in this graph is what? Zero, right? So therefore you're left with one over zero. Can you divide one divided by zero? No. So for our secant graph, all of our intercepts have now turned into asymptotes. So every single time you see an intercept, it's now an asymptote. Okay? No? All right, and then, now lastly, what we're going to do is our graphs, these are going to remember your secant and your uh, other reciprocal, so we're gonna take, we're gonna take our maximum point, and then our graph is simply just going to approach our asymptotes. So it's here, and this is the secant graph. And then if you remember, what was a couple of differences with the secant graph compared to the um, cosine in secant? Remember, the secant graph only had a period of pi, right? Secant and cosecant only have a period of pi, just like cotangent and tangent. So if you guys look at this, the distance that it takes it for it to complete one cycle is, guess, the distance between these two is pi. And these two is going to be pi. These two actually... Um, this one's actually going to be different because it's not a pi, but it's actually going to be pi over 4. But you guys can see that the, the period is now pi over b, which in this one would be pi over 4, right? The period, the period for this graph is pi over 4, but for the parent graph of a secant and cosecant would be pi. So you guys see how my, do you see how at least the period though is shorter, right? For secant graph, it was from there to there, but now for the I'm sorry, for the, cosecant, for the cosine graph, it was from here to here. But the secant graph, it's much shorter. It's half the length. So what's really helpful, guys, is we don't need our cosine graph at all. That's why I tell you guys to really make it faint and stuff. All you really need, though, is your asymptotes and where the graphs go. So you just take your maximum and your minimums, and just go the opposite direction and approaching your two asymptotes. All right? Did you? Yes, I did the reflection from the start. All right. Yep. So the reflection is already inputted on that. Good? It's crazy. It's crazy. All right, guys. I could literally show you how to do 20 different examples, but you know what? You're